How is it mid-October already? Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying fall. It's my favorite season of the year. Fall is the time of the year when my plans start to fall apart. I thought for this vlog, we'd get our lives together, together. I never actually iron my hair, but I got a haircut the other day and the hairdresser taught me how to do it and I felt really cute. I thought we'd start our reset with a cute hair day. I guess I have been feeling a bit lost lately. Since my channel has started, receiving a bit of attention online. I've been feeling this pressure to like post something. Every time I upload a video, if it doesn't get picked up by the algorithm, I feel very disappointed at myself, which I realize is not really healthy. There's also been a lot of admin stuff I've had to deal with, like setting up a legal entity, talking to accountants, lawyers, and this stuff always stresses me out so much. So yeah, I guess I've been feeling a little bit all over the place lately. For the next few days, I want to do some cleaning, change up the apartment a little bit. There are a few makeover projects that I've finally gotten around to doing, set some goals, and I thought I'd take you guys along. Bit of a gloomy day today. I have finally installed light and sound blocking curtains. Just got some sheer curtains for the daytime. So I haven't been sleeping very well lately. I'm a morning person, but I've been struggling to fall asleep. Like every night I spend hours scrolling on my phone, but the next morning I still wake up super early because of the light and sound outside and end up feeling drowsy all day. So I invested in this really heavy curtain to literally buy myself some sleep. Yeah, but this sheer curtain is purely for the aesthetics. To your most recent paycheck. My clothes have also been piling up. I feel like this state of my physical space is always indicative of my mental state. So cleaning is always a good place to start my reset when I don't know where to start mentally. having a call with an accountant in a few minutes because I set up a business entity for self-employment so I need to figure out how to pay taxes, how to open a business bank account I think a lot of my stress over the past few weeks comes from just being afraid of dealing with these administrative tasks but having a professional holding my hand and walking me through this definitely makes me feel less alone or lost. I feel like paying for accountants or lawyers or therapy are such adult ways to spend money and I think it's really worth it for the professional help. deviations from my plans. Like the dishes in the sink. Paula. I feel like at this time of the year, I'm turning my back on my bullet journal because I'm so far off from my original plans. I have things in it like publishing recipes for you guys, starting a book club, but realistically, those are not gonna happen this year. So like washing dishes in real life, I thought it would be helpful to trim off my to-do list a bit and focus on what I can realistically still achieve by the end of the year so that I don't get stressed out by unachievable tasks, which we're gonna do later on in this video but let's tackle another thing I've been pushing off. We're finally gonna use this butternut squash. turned out to be a bit chunkier than I thought. The weather is so gorgeous today. I'm going to meet up with a friend because I need human contact. I'm in my scrunchie era. I've been wearing hair cloths for three or four months straight and 
the one that I always wear just broke, so. Today is actually a very exciting day. I'm going to install a shelf to replace this. When we first moved in, Dave really wanted to swap this out. But I was like, that shelf is still kind of usable. It would be a waste to toss it. It actually looks quite terrible on camera. Since this channel has been doing a lot better lately, I feel more confident about investing in this space a little bit more so that it would be a better viewing experience for you guys. So apparently I need to scan the QR code. My espresso machine was in the storage in Beijing, but it was shipped down to Guangzhou recently. This is what we have so far. Now that I have the espresso machine, I think I want to sell these. I really liked using this mocha pot, but it doesn't make real espresso. And I feel like now that it's fall, I want to make espresso drinks with steamed milk. <laughs> I bought a roll of wallpaper to tape over this yellow coffee table. Maybe I could just move that one over here. What do you think? I like it, but I'm not in love. I'm not in love with this. I'm putting together this clothing rack because I've moved to Guangzhou for four months now. I still haven't unpacked my clothes. <laughs> I was actually just changing out the thumbnail for a video because it's not doing particularly well. I find my mood to be quite impacted by how well a video does. Sometimes I catch myself like talking to myself in a voice of negative comments, which I try not to blame myself for it. It still feels a bit silly. We all engage in negative self-talk. I try to deal with it by being more aware of when it happens and reminding myself, hey, that's, that's not very kind to yourself. But what actually lifts me up is reading the incredibly kind comments from you guys. I feel like that's the magic of YouTube. It helps us find each other and we lift each other up. What do you think? This is my barley tea. We're gonna do some planning. I set up this bullet journal in January. I have completely given up planning quarterly and monthly after like the first quarter. When I plan, I usually start with my journal, write down how I'm feeling, what I want to achieve. So I'm just gonna do that for the rest of the night and I'll share my new goals with you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. 
guys, welcome back. So I had a very chill evening planning last night. I feel very recharged and I want to share with you guys my goals for the last quarter of the year. My biggest goal is definitely still to show up more consistently here for you guys. I feel more of a responsibility now to do that and I'm very grateful that you guys are actually really patient. You've been telling me to take my time and I try to not put too much pressure on myself too because making videos it's such a joyful thing for me and that's the reason why I want to pursue it full-time. What's the point if it just becomes another pressure? So I want to treat this like a fun challenge. How can I find creative ways to be a little bit more productive for this video? I also want to spend some time to figure out the business aspect of YouTube. I still don't know how much I'm worth for sponsorships. I know you can go on Social Blue Book. There are like different formulas out there, but those methods still feel like going with other people's valuation of me. I want to make a pricing strategy myself because that's something that I've always wanted to do when I was a consultant but never got to do. Now I get to do it for myself. Speaking of pricing strategy, I'm also very excited to learn more about digital marketing because this is an industry I'm in now. I want to learn from brands' perspectives how they value content creators, what sort of KPIs they use. That's something I've wanted to learn since college. I'm taking a course called Influencer Marketing Strategy on Coursera. I mean, I'm sure you've heard of Coursera already, but if you haven't, it's a really great platform where you can take courses from top universities in the world for free online. I've taken Buddhism and modern psychology and Greek and Roman mythology during the pandemic and really loved it. If you want, you can pay to get a certificate to add to your resume. This is not sponsored by the way, but if you want to check out Coursera, I've included a link in the description. There are a lot of books I want to read. I'm currently reading Babel very, very slowly. Haven't been super on top of reading recently. I don't know if I told you guys but I'm actually planning on going to Japan at the end of this year. So I got my first Murakami in English. I've read Norwegian Wood in Chinese and also before the coffee gets cold I've been seeing this all over Instagram and YouTube. I might make a reading vlog with interior Chinatown while exploring Guangzhou. I don't know, let me know if that would be a fun idea. I'm not very committed to these two but Lessons in Chemistry is coming out as a TV series on Apple TV and all the lights you cannot see as a film on Netflix. So we shall see if we get to these two. This is such a massive stack already. <laughs> Lastly, I want to feel ready to move abroad. I have told you guys I'm considering moving to Berlin. I've actually been playing with this idea since March, but have been sort of struggling to commit to it because I feel like moving abroad is such a major life change and so is quitting my job and I feel like I can only navigate one major change at a time <laughs> and also I've never been to Germany I, I don't really know anyone there but I have lived in China for almost four years now I want a change of sceneries I want to immerse myself in a new culture and I feel like if I don't move to Europe and experience the continent now it'll just never happen so I basically spent the last six months actually trying to figure out if moving to Germany is what I want to do. I want to spend the next bit of time figuring out what's the best way to get there and start building a support network. But frankly, like a year ago, I would not have expected this to be happening in my life right now. But I'm very excited and I feel very lucky to be able to even consider these things. Oh my god, look at this cat. <laughs> do this. He is just having the best time right now. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you feel recharged and ready to take on the rest of 2023. Let me know in the comments what you're excited to do for the rest of the year. Thank you as always for being here. I will catch you in the next one. Bye!